Hello there, people of the internet. Oh, what the hell happened here? I got blindness? Why? Oh yeah, um, hello there guys, my name's Tom from the Diamond Melon. And I don't really know what's going on here, I just spawned in a new world just to uh, talk to you about some new features that are going to be implemented into the game, but um... Oh. Wow. Uh, well, YOLO. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, this is beyond creepy. I swear I did not put this here. Grass blocks? Surely it'd be dirt. You know, because dirt's more... Oh, there's some light in this one. Red sun torches. 2 by 2 Well, 2 by 3 actually. 2 by 3 Tom. There's another one. Oh, jeez! Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Is that Steve head? Oh, it is. I scared of shit out of me. I'm scared to find out what's at the end of this tunnel. Ah! Hello there, people of the internet. My name is Tom from the Down Melon. Sorry for that little dramatic scene at the beginning. I needed to do it because it adds more into the topic of which we're going to be into, which is quite a dark subject. Now, if you are a very sensitive player of Minecraft and you are affected by folklore stories of the game that may freak you out, I would advise you to leave this video now. This right here, I am using the resource pack. Uh, this is the stairs resource pack, which is a horror game. Um, uh, map that I played. Uh, this is actually Endstone and uh, Chiseled Sandstone. And it's just a picture of Herobrine. So yeah, uh, do not worry. It's it's not real. But however, what we're going to be going into is very real. So strap in, grab your popcorn, grab a loved one, hug them to death, and then uh, watch the video. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so basically, yeah, this, this is a... Uh, I'm just going to kill you, Steve. We are going to be talking today about Herobrine. Now, Many of you know Herobrine as the supposed, I guess he's sort of like an alternative of the devil to the Minecraft. You see, you have Notch, and then you have Herobrine. Notch is a creator, and Herobrine was also a creator. However, because Heroin, Heroin? <laughs> because Herobrine thought that the Steves that Notch created were imperfect, he decided to corrupt and disease the land. I just broke a sun touch. So basically, this is where Herobrine originates from, from old Minecraft folklore. Now, as you all know, Minecraft doesn't really have that much of a backstory. N many people believe that there were there was two survivors of, of it of a shipwreck that once happened, which is Steve and Herobrine. Herobrine died because Steve was jealous of Herobrine. Herobrine tormented him, and this because we're Steve's technically just with a separate skin on. He basically can come into a world and scare the crap out of you. But other people believe that he is Notch's dead brother, which I don't think is that true at all. I personally believe that Herobrine is nothing but a halluc uh, hallucination that is experienced down within mine shafts. That because, just because of the simple reason that places like this, even a small cave, for normal people in reality, can cause hallucinogenics. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to say is, back over in coal mines, over in the olden days, there were people that would used to go down for days upon days, doing nothing but mining coal, just to, to gather resources, just like we do within this game. But because of the coal, and because of being hallucinogenic in some ways, it did cause people to have hallucinations, and some even went into insanity. Now, I personally believe that because Herobrine's most normal spawning area is these sort of caves, I believe that he is nothing more than a figment of a miner's imagination. Now, other people have said that you can summon the mythical being by simply putting down the following, which are gold blocks, Redstone repeaters, redstone torches, flint and steel, and netherrack. Now, most of you people will, uh, most of you more sensitive viewers will be thinking, oh yeah, he's going to show us all this and it's going to be a massive jump scare. 
There will not, I assure you. There will be no jump scares. Even skip to the end of the video, there will be no jump scares. So yet many people believe that you can actually summon Herobrine by doing these following steps, which basically involve you doing a so nine, uh, a three by three sort of grid with two totem pole. Uh, it's like a totem of of, um, of netherrack, and then you are to put in some redstone repeaters like so, and then put in some redstone torches like so, all around. And then you are supposed to, like this, and according to Minecraft folklore, Herobrine is now within this world. Now, there are many mods to Herobrine, and many people don't believe in it. But personally, I am a firm believer of Herobrine, because I keep saying Herobrine and Herobrine. I don't know why. There are different pronunciations of it. But yeah, basically what I believe is that Herobrine is basically just a, a figment of a miner's imagination down in these sort of caves. However, most people believe that he's either not just dead brother because um, of the creepypasta, which originated with Herobrine, which, um, in which the person saw a default Steve character, but with no pupils. He wrote to Notch saying, um, did you have a brother? And he said, I do, but he's no longer with us. Notch did have a stepbrother, of which he rarely saw, but he eventually passed away due to some unknown cause. However, I really don't think that Notch, despite him having a very good sense of humour, would allow such a thing within this game. I mean, to basically making a, a mob that kills you his brother. I mean, surely that you must honestly think that that isn't right. I mean, to have a, one of your loved ones implemented within a game as the enemy is just bad, honestly. I, I, would, I couldn't imagine somebody doing like that. I think, honestly, it would just be a massive insult. But, um, yeah, on a side note of Herobrine, I have personally seen him, and I am a, I'm a firm believer, and I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, oh, yeah, he's saying this, but has he got any proof? Basically, my word is my proof. I remember long ago, back when I was playing Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition, when I wasn't recording... Ironically enough, me and my friend Piggy Giraffe, which is Ethan, um, who is the guy who was responsible for me and Piggy Lost in Time, and um, many other videos. Um, but I, me and him personally saw him down in the nether. We, we, we thought it was a pigman at first, we walked on over, and we just thought, oh my god. So we went over, tried to punch him, it did no damage, and he turned around and he scared the crap out of us. Now, this video and all of its information is not fake. It's just simply my sort of version of what Herobrine is within the game. Also, I would like to discuss today what I think of Minecraft. Have you ever wondered why Minecraft textures are so dull? Most people just think that it's because of Notch's, you know, Notch's ability just to like create a 3D adventure game where you can add and place blocks you know it's just a quick quick way of putting down detail I personally think that Minecraft is has three stages basically like all within a child's mind I personally think that because of the basic textures this must surely be a representation of a young child's mind within Minecraft or basically the child is imagining Minecraft. I think this because, have you ever seen a child draw a picture, like, of stick men? And have you noticed how basic it is? Well, just look at this dirt block, for example. Look how basic the textures are. Now, normally you don't get dirt blocks in real life, and when you do, they do not do not look like this, and you still don't see dirt looking like this either. Yes, it has little dirt grains, but these dirt grains are all different colours, making it seem... To the player of the game, quite basic. Sorry for the lag. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think that because during a day, during the day of a child, a child is most active and most creative. You know, they'll be running around, they'll be drawing pictures, all sorts. And to me, I just think that the day in, a min in Minecraft is basically the day of a young child. Now... You might be thinking, yeah, that might be true, but what about monsters? Have you ever noticed that with a child, 
at night they are more ch children are more prone to having um are more prone to having nightmares than teenagers older children and adults and i personally believe that the night of a minecraft like say for example if i were to do time set 16,000 on it this here this blackness this emptiness of a child's mind represents fear now as we all know when we spawn into a new minecraft world we are we are told that we have to construct a shelter you know like any shelter whatsoever and hide away now have you ever noticed that with a child when they're having nightmares they hide underneath the clubs well i personally believe that the quill represents shelter and the monsters represent a figment of child's imagination within a nightmare i also believe now this is where it gets a little bit weird have you ever noticed the nether and the end how they seem so menacingly evil like you have to destroy but the ender dragon in order to complete the game well i personally believe the ender dragon represents a child's fear which when you destroy the ender dragon the game finishes well it doesn't exactly finish but the credits come up so i personally believe that once you defeat the ender dragon sorry my mic cut off there but as i was saying when you defeat the ender dragon which represents fear in my sort of view I believe that the Ender Dragon represents fear, and when you defeat it, because it's a source of fear, the ending of the game represents a child's next stage into becoming an adult or an older child. Um, because have you ever noticed that with a child, they fear loads of weird things when they when they're younger? Like I used to be scared of like a monster underneath my bed. But now I, I fear nothing of the sort because half the things I was scared of when I was little, I'm no longer afraid of. And that is basically the human way of stepping up a step into um, becoming an adult or a, an older person. Um, so, yeah, when I, I believe that when you defeat the Ender Dragon, you're basically stepping up a notch defeating all the fear of what you experienced as a child and moving up to become an adult. I personally believe that, believe that that is what the end of the game and the Ender Dragon represent. I also believe, I also um, want to say thanks guys for listening to my sort of view on Minecraft and what it represents and also what Herobrine is um, within the game, what he represents and what the game itself represents because many people on the internet have done a lot of videos about Minecraft, but they haven't done any videos on what the backstory of this game is. Apart from one video, which is called In the Beginning, by a person called Adam Rodriguez, Rodriguez Gaming, something like that. And he ex basically explains what Herobrine and Notch were, and how Herobrine and Notch came to be. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, people. Sorry if it's been a bit dark, I just need to get my opinion out. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, people. If you are new to the channel and you ha and you do like what you see, don't forget that bash that like and that subscribe button. And as always, people, stay fruity. <laughs>